Now we are going to prove orthogonal property of Bessel's function, which is if alpha and beta be the roots of j and x is equal to zero, then we have to prove integration of x j and alpha x into j n beta x dx is equal to zero, where alpha is not equal to beta, where integrating limit is zero to one. Proof. Here we have considered two Bessel's equation. First is x square u double dash plus x u dash plus alpha square x square minus n square u is equal to zero, and second one is x square v double dash plus x v dash plus beta square x square minus n square v is equal to zero. It is obvious that the solution of these two uh, Bessel's equation first is u is equal to j n alpha x. And second is v is equal to j and beta x, respectively. Now by multiplying equation first with v upon x and equation second with u upon x, and then subtracting, we get x into u double dash v minus u v double dash plus u dash v minus u v dash plus alpha square minus beta square x u v is equal to zero. And this can be written as differentiation of x u dash v minus u v dash with respect to x is equal to beta square minus alpha square into x u v. Now integrating both sides with respect to x between the limits zero and one, हम integration इसलिए ले रहे हैं और क्योंकि हमारा integration है और zero से one limit है. So after integrating with respect to x and taking limit zero to one, we have beta square minus alpha square. Integration of zero one x u v dx is equal to x u dash v minus u v dash limit from zero to one. After putting limit, we have u dash v minus u v dash at x is equal to one. Here we have root as u is equal to j n alpha x. So differentiation of u is equal to uh, with respect to x is d upon d x in J n alpha x is equal to d of d upon d alpha x J n alpha x dot d alpha x upon d x, which is alpha into J n alpha x. जिस तरह हमने u का differentiation किया x के respect में, in similar way we can differentiate v with respect to x, x and we have v dash is equal to beta J n dash beta x. And by putting u, v, u dash, and v dash in equation third, we get integration from zero to one x j n alpha x into j n beta x dx is equal to alpha j n dash alpha j n beta minus beta j n alpha j n dash beta upon beta square minus alpha square. We have taken it as equation four. Now, if alpha and beta are two distinct roots. Then j n x is equal to zero, and then j n alpha is also zero because j n x is zero, and similarly j n beta is also zero. By putting these two in equation four, we have integration from zero to one x j n alpha x into j n beta x dx. Because j n alpha and beta both of the value zero is, therefore integration from zero to one. X j n alpha x into j n beta x dx is equal to zero.